just want to make sure you orient the handles in the direction that the either the wind is not blowing or um, the handles are not coming directly uh, are not directly on top of the opening here where you put in the twigs so yesterday I made that mistake and handles got really hot and it ended up uh, burning off a uh, part of my high temperature silicone that I had put on the handle here other than that it worked really well and we know that the Bush Bunny Mini can pump out some heat because it was able to burn the uh, high temp tubing on my handles all right so a quick video today over the past camping trip I did burn my uh, handles a little bit it was over the fire and it was a little bit too hot so I did burn off the silicone and I needed to replace it with a new set of silicone on the handle so you can see here I did put a new uh, sleeve on the handle on my titanium uh, kettle here and I'm going to show everyone how we can put the silicone onto the other handle and then reinstall it back onto the pot okay so the couple things that you will need is you will need some silicone tubing so this is um, RC car uh, nitro fuel tubing silicone tubing in the size medium and I can pick this up from the hobby shop or you can get it from Amazon Amazon does uh, sell quite a few of these so it comes in many different colors you, you can get it in red white blue I think purple yellow black as well um, I just have the clear just because this is the one that I've been using and after a while going on the fire it does uh, end up turning a little bit uh, yellow but it's fine it matches the pot so I don't have any issues with that so uh, what you really need is you need to get a bit of soapy water so this is detergent and it's diluted in a little bit of water so you put your handle in there get it all soapy and then you also put your tubing inside to get some soap in there I like to uh, stick the tubing inside just jiggle it around a little and then should be good to go there dry off the outside so it's not too slippery on the hands so since I have the tubing uh, further to this side I'm going to start on this side of the handle so I don't have to move it down as far so it's as simple as just taking the tubing putting it in and sliding it on if you don't use the uh, soap you're going to find it really hard to push the handle through the tubing so make sure you use the soap method so literally just going to keep pushing 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 it through pushing it through so one thing to note is that this is the uh, MSR Titan kettle um, handle so I find that if you do need a little bit of grip you can use a bit of paper towel and hold it on the outside as well and that will help you push it down along and just like that we have the tubing on there pull it down to your desired length push this up you can shift it around on the handle to uh, where you want it to be and then after it dries it will stay put so I like to have it about there so let's make sure that they kind of are even and matched up looks pretty good so now you just take the handle and you pop it back onto the pot so usually the tiny kettle comes with the handle uh, this way I like to switch my handles around upside down because I find that when it's um, on the pot this way I find that the bottom of the handle gets really hot from the flame and then it, the heat just kind of transfers up the handle but if I put it this way I find that there's less a uh, surface area to get hot at the bottom and then that makes it easier uh, for me to take off the pot and, and also keeps silicone further away from the where the flames are so you take the handle um, so when it's in this position the best way to take it off is actually pull from the bigger side so pull down and lift it out when it's at the top uh, it's the opposite so 
usually I put it in there and lift up, pop it back in, give it a good squeeze. Same with this side, pop this in, lift it up, give it a good squeeze back down, and squeeze it so that it gets the shape back. Squeeze this side, and there you go. Just like that, you have a little bit of silicone on your handles so that you won't burn yourself every time you try to take your pot off the fire. So, probably gonna have to move this one down a little bit, but that's quite easy. And match it up on the two sides. And we're good. So, it's very similar if you want to do it to the top, you can just uh, spread this open. I do find it a little bit easier if you use a set of pliers and you go inside and you stretch the opening here because it is smaller so it is a little bit harder to open but you take a pair of pliers put it inside open it up and it does pop out and when you want to squeeze back down just take your pliers and squeeze down on it but as installing the silicone is the same method as i just showed you on the handles so i'll hope that uh, you enjoyed these tips and you'll be able to use the silicone on your own handles um, one thing to know is that uh, the MSR Titan kettle does have slightly thinner uh, handles than say a snow peak so on the snow peak I do use a slightly um, I try to find the brand that has a slightly uh, wider uh, tubing so you can see here I have two types of tubing I have the um, this is the medium and this is, I think this one they also sell as a medium, but the hole is a little bit bigger. So you really have to go try out which one works for you. But um, for me, I found out that the MSR Titan kettle, I'm able to use uh, just this tubing and this other, I'm not sure what brands these are, but this other brand of tubing um, I use for my, uh, I use for my, Snow Peak, uh, Trek 900 and 1400 for the top of the um, pot handle. I don't really use it on the uh, handle on the actual cup or pot portion because I haven't found I needed that yet. I usually bring my leather gloves for that, but sometimes I don't have my leather gloves when I'm bringing out this set. So 